Hello fellas, Piggy Day here. Okay guys, uh, tonight is video number six on my Airfix uh, 124 scale Falkworth FW190A. Uh, this is the final reveal, fellas. Finally got her done. And uh, so I'm gonna put her away. And uh, gee folks, there's a lot of work in this thing. I mean, um, it came out, I came out, uh, Better than I hoped it would, and I uh, always had high hopes of making good kits and good models, fellas. Just, just my first challenge on, on this uh, on this kit. Never built one before, and uh, it goes together quite easily. But like I say, folks, the key to make this thing fit together perfectly is you got to do a lot of cleaning. So, like I say, this kit is one total, complete flash pig. I mean, I, the, the molds went through the, the mill, you know, and it shows its toll. And it leaves its trademark on the on the parts. So uh, best to do is always get yourself a knife. And like I said yesterday on the last video, scrape off all that flash, and you'll be amazed. You'll be amazed how easily parts fit together out of us. Okay, guys, I got it all decaled up as uh, per kit instructions. Uh, the cow the cow inspection panels on the cowings. And also the gun cut the cover on top of 20 millimeters that it comes off is removable. So when I show the video, it's 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 removable. It comes off, folks. Because if I didn't want to show these parts on this kit, I would not I would have glued these things in a long time ago. It would have been sealed it as it was one whole fuselage structure itself. So they are removable for show and tell, and I'll show and tell tonight. And I got Johan all painted up. He's a uh, Climbing aboard uh, his FW-190A to shoot down a couple of B-17s, and uh, I, I think Panzer Man Bill, uh, Panzer Man's bunker, I think uh, Miss Bill would would approve of Johan to get into this airplane, and uh, after all, I commented on I'll have a pilot in it, so he's there, and uh, it's a good kit, folks. It really is. It's um. It's one of a kind at scale. I know I understand that Trumpler makes one. I think it's a different version. But the Butcher Bird came out quite well. Okay, folks, we're going to take a look at the Butcher Bird. And we'll get back to yours truly and I'll discuss what's up next on the plate. So keep your peepers on this. We'll swing around and take a look at the, look at the Butcher Bird. Okay, boys, here we go. Oh, right, there she is, fellas, right there. As you can see, Johan behind him, he's, 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 he's climbing inside the cockpit. As I take Lazy Susan, give it a good little spin here and there, you get to take a look at the at the uh, at the build. And uh, this is the first time I've ever built a German aircraft using this kind of camo scheme before. Now I built other I built other FW-190s before though, but uh, I made the blotches pretty outstanding. The, the models are uh, more outstanding than, than um, well pronounced uh, on this one. But uh, I guess it's a different color scheme that they used back in 1943. Uh, this kit comes with an option of either having a bomb or the external, or the external gas tank, which is droppable during if it gets engaged into a, to a, in combat with a tangling Mustang or a Spitfire. You can see Johan right there. He's he's happy. He's getting inside his airplane, ready to scramble. And the uh, the camos came out quite well, folks. I like it pretty well. By filling in a lot of it after the airbrush was mo those models on it like that, you got to make sure you got to fill in with the airbrush. Light shades, light strokes at a time. And if you feather in, you'd be surprised. It'd be like magic. Airbrush is a wonderful tool. If you use it to your favor and to your advantage, you'd be amazed how your skills will improve in airbrushing. Okay, guys, after we get her, after we get the folk wolf right here, mounted on a specially painted black stand, I'm going to move those uh, panels there and uh, reveal the uh, 20 millimeters and also the BMI engine. Okay, folks, here we go.
Here it is, fellas. And we'll go on a little close. You can see the detail that's done on the VM engine, VMI engine. And you can see the 20 millimeters now they are. It's a good kit, folks, it really is. One of a kind of an airplane. I have one kind of a kit. Yep, uh, the, the 190 was one hell of an airplane, folks. It, it really, uh, it was pretty much favorable for the Luftwaffe as their type of airplane to fly. It's, it's something about its rigidness and the speed and, and, and the uh, armament this thing could carry and the damage it can inflict. I think it was a beautiful airplane for her day, the, the mighty butcher bird. And uh, incidentally, <laughs> I like this little decal back here, folks. It's like a turkey buzzard nursing his young. Got Herman Goring there. He's ready to get inside the cockpit right there. He's ready to climb in and uh, give it his all. This is a good kit, folks. It really is. Incidentally, guys, the decals in this kit was is excellent. If anybody's got the reboxing this kit in a big red box, the decals as came with this kit here. I mean, these decals are thin. I mean, really thin. They're, they're about the thin, about they're about as thin as uh, almost thin as, as micro scale decals, and uh, they go on very easily, and they conform to paint quite well. And they use your favorite um, decal solvent s solution. I use the mighty Walters right here. This is what I use, folks. This is good stuff. This really shrinks them down. Makes it look like it's been painted on. That's the goal I'm aiming for. All of us models, I can go for that kind of a goal. Makes the decals look more authentic. So anyway, guys, the decals in this kit are very are excellent. I thought they would be in the heavy side, but I was really astounded when I found out they weren't. So I, I, bought, I took them off the backing sheet using a solution. I go, wow, these things, these things are thin. So this is what I like, and so they lay you right on the plastic real well, come out quite good, and uh, yeah, my butcher bird's happy, so am I. Okay, fellas, uh, just about do it right here. This will be the completion of my personal build of the Airfix 124 scale. FW-190A, Butcher Bird. And, um, and she's a very beautiful airplane she is, folks. Fits quite well in the stand, too. And that's what it's going to be. I'm going to put it right next to the Hawker Hurricane. I don't think the Hawker Hurricane would mind. Okay, fellas, that's it right there. So we'll take the camera swing around yours truly and I'll discuss what's on the plate next, folks. Okay, guys, here we go. Here I is. Okay, guys, that's it right there. Okay, folks, what I'll be doing next, I'm going to be building the, uh, the Rail 132nd scale Arado AR196B. It's been calling on me for the last three days. Uh, from Mr. Martin Lambert uh, of International Scale Modelers. He has, says, Frank, it's one of those, you can't keep your hands off the kit. So, it's calling on me, so I'll probably be the next set of hands. Can't keep my hands off of it. Just got to keep it going. I, I made that gin box of view down on it like that. I was pretty well amazed at the, the precision, well-built parts on that kit. So, I already got the paint board already and ready to turn two on it. Okay, guys, so tomorrow night I'm going to start on the Arado. And uh, by Tuesday I'll have a video of what I've, how much I've done on it. And... Uh, I'll follow up on that in videos and think of something else I can bring up. And uh, that'll be that. Okay, fellas, uh, this completes the video number six of my final reveal for the Airfix 124 Falkland FW 190A. It's a one of a kind and beautiful kit. I highly recommend it. You guys got one of these in your stash, hang on to it. And uh, they're coming out all over the place now, and so. Remember, guys, got this kit. Always get that flash cleaned off and 
You'd be all right. You'd be surprised how much easy the kit goes together. It's a challenge. Let's put it that way. Okay, fellas, time for you to bail out right now. I'll catch you guys on the next video. The next video will be up this Tuesday. It will be on the uh, be video one for the Ravel 132nd scale Colorado. And uh, that would be that. This big day signing off. Uh, thank you very much, folks, for tuning in. And may God bless. Make Mama happy. And uh, happy modeling. And please subscribe. And we'll catch you guys next video. So stay tuned for the first build report of the mighty... Ravel 132nd Scalarado. I'll see you next video, folks. Bye, boys.